Well, just to start with trust, uh, I think it was General, uh, it's the chairman, the chief, he had this thing, you know, when, when the balloon goes up, you got to go to combat, you, you know, you, you, know, you never know. And I talked to my two sons about this. Uh, I say, there's two, you can throw money at just about everything, but the two things you can't go out and buy are, are physical fitness and trust. You got to build that every day and then you, you can, you can lean on it when you really need it and combat those two things because it's going to you're going to rely on it mike's my, my thoughts on, on on really hard situations in, in combat um is uh, is steadiness is a trait in leaders and i i i made a i made assessments on on battalion commanders i was when i was a brigade commander in iraq a while ago now uh, but it was it was not a not a fun year uh, and company commanders, those are the ones I saw a lot. Uh, and the ones that you didn't know if they were having a good day or a bad day were good leaders. Uh, and they're not a lot like that. Uh, it's very stressful. You get you get this chronic fatigue. And so you don't have all your wits about you. You're not in control of your emotions like you normally would be. But if you have the ability to be incredibly steady and when you're talking to somebody, don't know if they've had three guys killed an hour ago or if they just caught their and killed their number one HVT. Now, this is coin stuff, OK, uh, which is, you know, really great on the one end or just horrible on the other. They are just steady. I think that is such a combat multiplier in, in tough environments uh, that the, 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 the soldiers are leading are not along this emotional roller coaster with their platoon leader or company commander or whatever. They need somebody that's just rock hard steady. So I, I've always valued that. I've striven to try and be, be that way myself. Uh, it, it takes it takes a little bit of innate makeup for that, I think, uh, Nate or, or Max. But I think uh, you can train yourself a little bit to be that way and just count to 10 in reaction to something. Say, listen, man, I mean, a, a lot of people are looking at you under pressure. Uh, and if you can just be thoughtful and, and don't go high and right or starting to spout off on something, uh, I think in the long run, it, it serves both you and your organization best.